My wife is having a hard time sleeping up at our house, which we have a 1940s bungalow in Blue Ridge. We own a business downtown, and we're spending a, a good amount of time here. And she just wasn't sleeping right. She has Lyme disease, mold intolerance, just something wasn't right. So we had some testing done, and we came across that we had like a high mold count in our house. So that's when we dug in and tried to find out how do we take care of this. Uh, we hired an environmental hygienist, did some testing, found out that it was most likely coming from the crawl space. It wasn't sealed off correctly, it was a dirt bottom. Actually, they had covered it very thin membrane, just, just cheapest clean from Walmart. That wasn't doing the trick. So that's how we came across the crawl space mixer. So once we decided that we needed to encapsulate the crawl space, we hired a company. They came in and they were highly recommended to us and they performed probably, probably one of the worst jobs in history. It was terrible. And on top of all of that, they painted a primer over the mold. So now they've sealed the mold in. We're back to square one. What do we do? So I'm watching, I'm Googling, I'm watching videos, I'm wondering, what am I gonna do? I keep coming across this Crawl Space Ninjas guy. And so I'm looking and I go to their website uh, for areas around Blue Ridge, Georgia, and no one, no, no one comes to my area. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna take a risk and I'm gonna give him a call. And so what do I do? I call Robert, I get the owner on the phone and he's like, absolutely we'll come to Blue Ridge. Their office is based out of Alpharetta. He's up here within a couple of days. I'm sitting down with him and I'm saying, hey, look, this job is messed up. My wife's got Lyme disease, mold intolerance. I'm stressed. I've got a sick wife. I've got a house that's now worse off than it was before. And he just tells me, hey, let's put a game plan together. Let me get down there. Let's really finalize it, take a good look at it. He comes up, we go over everything. And he looks right at me and he says, Brett, we're gonna get this right for you and your wife. We can do this. I totally, I had all the trust in him. I had a great conversation and I said, let's do it. I never regretted that situation. From after that conversation, from him understanding where I'm coming from, to Ryan and the crew coming in, outperforming, outperforming. A job that usually takes a day or two to sandblast any mold, any remnants, anything off the joists and the underneath uh, of the flooring usually takes a day on, an average, on a regular house. And mine's a small house, 1,200 square feet. Took over a week. And these guys came in and they said, do not worry, this is going to be done correctly. We're gonna do this right for your wife. And they weren't just saying that. It wasn't like, hey, we're gonna do this right for your wife. I looked right at them. And when Ryan told me that, I totally trusted him. I see these guys coming out of the house. They're down there for eight hours a day sandblasting. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I went down there when the job was done, and the woods all looked brand new. I mean, everything down there looks brand new. It was, it was unbelievable. The transformation, I can never tell you how thankful I am for the job that they did and how they made me feel and the time they put in. Um, we had water intrusion. What was the cause of the problem? Was the water intrusion coming in the back of the house. They came in, they put a membrane against the foundation, a French drain on the exterior of the foundation. They put more drainage on the other side, interior of the foundation. We, we put a sump pump in. Honestly, no water's come in. The sump pump I'm never gonna need to use, but it's there. For me, it's peace of mind. Whether it's used or not, obviously I don't want it used but it's there if anything were to ever happen. But the house now, compared to prior to the Crawl Space Ninjas coming in, is night and day. What they did for my family and for my wife, I can't put into words. Would I recommend them? In a heartbeat. I mean, you can Google, you can do the same thing I did, okay? You want the best product for the best price. And very rarely can you find both. And after my research, and, and you know and going through talking with several companies i know i chose the right company crawl space ninjas gave me a fair shake the price was right the work they did was over the top uh if i were you i'd stop right now stop your googling stop your researching 
Stop wasting your time. Go with Crawl Space Ninjas. They're the ones that you need. That's all I can really say, and I, and I mean that. So one of the things that I've learned as just a regular person, fairly healthy, uh, because of my wife having mold intolerance and Lyme disease, is air quality is huge. It's a, it's a big deal. And for most of us that aren't going through some of these challenges, we think everything is always okay. Uh, I would recommend that if you have any kind of crawl space uh, on your property, you know, that you might be sleeping above or, or anything like that, uh, that you do an air quality test because the levels that we had weren't really great for just a regular person. Never mind somebody who's already facing challenges with, with Lyme disease and, and chronic mold. So if you're waking up with a headache, you're, you're stuffy in your house, uh, you, you know, you, 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 don't, you feel a little groggy, you, you feel like always not 100%, check out that crawl space because some of that air could be getting into your home and that's not good for you. And over a long period of time can affect you physically. So even if you don't have problems with your health, you may not be feeling that great, do some research. Just do some testing. Even if you don't feel you're having any issues, have someone come out and do some testing and, and see if crawl space and just can't help you there. Uh, because encapsulating your crawl space can help you whether you have some sort of problem or not. So think about that for the future.